antes de empezar su duelo. A minuto y medio por puntos. now see uh, Italy uh, lining up against the, um, the Polish fighter. Poland getting in a bit of a stalking position. Um, walking cautiously, but I think uh, getting a game face on. The Italian fighter obviously very aggressive in the shot. Uh, ended up with a clean shot there to the head. Polish being great shot to the leg there a few times. The Italian, unfortunately, I think, badly timing her blocks. Um, but there, some fantastic blocks coming in there. The aggression from Italy, but maybe not, not the best fighter to be doing that too. Some strong hits there coming from these female fighters. The, um, the energy matching uh, the, their teammates. Just trading shield to shield shots there. A few, I think there was one, uh, one shot from the Polish fighter sneaking into the leg there. I think those low shots from the Polish fighter are what might might win, but uh, the aggression from Italy is uh, is doing good. It's obviously, uh, catching the top of the helmet from the Polish fighter. The Italian fighter really really needs to start defending her legs better and uh, dropping her her stance. She is, uh, I think, a smaller stature than the Polish fighter, and if she doesn't. Well, a lot of those blows from the Polish fighter only only meeting the uh, shield, so it's going to be interesting to see how she does in that. The Polish fighter seeming quite relaxed with the energy um, in her bag. This this is what happens when you are an aggressive fighter like Italy. You can maybe gas yourself. Um, and then lose strength in the final rounds, which of course uh, can sometimes be the hardest. Which is why I think we saw the Hungarian uh, male sword and buckler fighter, or sword and shield fighter yesterday, doing uh, fantastically against his opponents in a calmed manner, uh, using only the sword to, uh, to defend and collect some uh, good headshots. Looks like they're going to go to uh, another round, as uh, points have not uh, not been decided. And yet they're now choosing to obviously fix some armor with the Italian fighter, but that might um, might have been because they either didn't know the round was going to go on, or because it has taken them this long to fix it. The Italian support team and audiences are standing by, very eager to see the outcome. Friendly sword tap to start the round. Suspense in the eyes of these Italian supporters. Aggression coming again from the uh, from the Italian fighter, being good at defending her legs, um, uh, making sure that they meet sword to sword. Nice, smart, quick shots happening there. Oh, a nice traded back from the Polish fighter as well. Italy pressing it, but now now on the back foot, Poland with more energy might choose to become the aggressor if they feel they don't have the points. Trading leg shots nearly, nearly, unfortunately that might have been it. Uh, only a bit of a 30 second uh, tiebreaker. And we see um, the Russian fighter has uh, been ready for quite a while in the uh, list two. 